The Dallas Cowboys are famously known as America's team, a franchise rich in history and success, particularly during the 1990s with legends like Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, and Emmitt Smith leading them to three Super Bowl wins in four years. But since that era, success has been elusive. The Cowboys haven't reached the NFC Championship game since 1995. Despite high hopes with Dak Prescott, they've consistently fallen short in the playoffs, unable to live up to their storied legacy. A major factor in their struggles has been Jerry Jones' overwhelming influence on the team. As owner, president, and general manager, Jones has retained full control over football decisions, which has sometimes hindered the Cowboys' success. His refusal to delegate power to a true general manager has led to inconsistent roster management and coaching decisions. Playoff heartbreaks have haunted this franchise. Tony Romo's infamous fumble snap in 2007 against the Seahawks, Des Bryant's controversial catch-no-catch catch in 2014 against the Packers, and Aaron Rodgers' incredible sideline throw to Jared Cook in 2016 to knock the Cowboys out yet again. With a franchise so desperate to reclaim its former glory, the Cowboys have turned to ya boy. Hefe Zah! Try and bring America's team back to the top where it used to be. But look, with decades of disappointment and ownership's hands still present, this is gonna be a hard rebuild, ladies and gentlemen. Can we succeed? We've succeeded with the Giants, we've succeeded with the Browns. Let's see if we can succeed with the Cowboys. Now, before I start building the roster, we have a new rule in store for today. Clap up for the new rule. Now, although I am the new general manager of the Dallas Cowboys, that doesn't mean Jerry Jones is going anywhere. Him and Steven Jones, they're still gonna have their final say. Now, how are we gonna do this? I got Jerry Jones on the phone, baby. All right, I have constructed, I hopped in my Asian bag and constructed code to build a Jerry Jones bot. Pretty much with every single transaction, I have to get Jerry Jones's approval. If Jerry Jones says no, then I can't do that transaction. For example, let's say for whatever reason, I wanted Trey Lance as my starting quarterback. I would have to ask Jerry, can I pick Trey Lance over Dak Prescott? He says yes, so then I could do it. Now, I don't wanna do this, but that's an example, all right? And we have to do that for pretty much every single transaction, every single roster transaction, every draft choice. It's Jerry Jones, at the end of the day, he has final say, all right? I slept over at his house, not in that way, all right? This is an actual thing that coaches do, or at least Mike McCarthy did. I got to know him a little better, all right? We know what roster we want here in Dallas. Let's get started with the team selection. Starting off, we gotta select the quarterback, Dak Prescott. This is America's QB. He's got one year left on his contract in this game, $45 million quarterback. He's one of the best quarterbacks on this game. Dak Prescott is our first player signed. All right, we gotta get his partner in crime, CD Lamb now. He just signed a new contract in real life. He's got five-star potential. He's one of the best receivers on this game. Listen, we got some good players on this team on the game, all right? So it's gonna be done in a year. Who knows, man? But I definitely want, in my opinion, the best player on the Cowboys, and that's Micah Parsons, all right? He's gonna be crucial to this rebuild, man. He's gonna be the leader of this defense. We're gonna be looking to win a Super Bowl ring with Michael Parsons, because he's one of them ones, man. He deserves it, all right? At the DB spot, we need to get that boy, Trayvon Diggs. He's a three and a half star player on this game. He's got four star potential. Hopefully he'll get me some interceptions like he does in real life, all right? So that's the first four players we have. I don't think this is a Dallas Cowboys rebuild if I don't include Zeke Elliott. Like, I know he's like 29 years old. He's a four star on this game somehow, all right? He's still good. This is like Ohio State Zeke, all right? We're getting him on the squad. This can't be done without Zeke. Now we have $10 million left. I'm gonna spend that on Brandon Aubrey, all right? This guy's an absolute monster in real life. There you go. That's what we're gonna start with on the Cowboys. This is a very good base team to start with. Hopefully we can get this rebuild done fast, man. Here we go, Jerry Jones. Let's get it started. F.A. Zai, he was the head coach of Wyoming before taking the reins at the Cowboys. I am now America's coach. This is the most pressure, all right? We're on the hot seat every single year. Media's talking about us all the time. This is one of the biggest jobs in the NFL, all right? Now we're definitely working going to get our salary cap up because like I said we need more than six players to win a ring all right this is not going to get it done also I learned from the last rebuild coordinators definitely really matter all right we got to hire our own staff so we definitely got to save up for that let's see how the team is sitting first first game as the Cowboys head coach can we beat the Las Vegas Raiders here we go America's team up 12-3 early here we go 18-13 and a half all right we got to beat Antonio Pierce man oh my god big third quarter by the Raiders oh brother oh we win the first game oh I thought we lost there they, they, the sun is shining on us America's team baby. Let's go. The Cowboys. You know I got my jeans on. Kevin Fulgham. Which one is he? He's defensive coordinator. Come on now. I know my staff. Stop playing with me, Dan. Dak Prescott, 559. Five touchdowns in his debut. CD Lamb, 455. Three touchdowns. That's going to be the duo that's going to take us to the chip, man. Game two against the Eagles. Rivalry game right here. 14-14 early. 21-21. Come on. We got to beat the Eagles, man. This is a key. This is key. We got to win our division. All right. We're up at the deadline. We just lost to the Chiefs, but we're 6-2. Like, I haven't even done anything yet. 
I haven't even asked Jerry Jones a single question. This might be the fastest rebuild in NFL Retro Bowl 25 history, all right? Trade deadline is this week. Now we gotta take a look at the contracts. Cause Dak has one year left. I'm assuming he's gonna want 50 M's next year. And we're not gonna have enough cap for that. Now Zeke is at three years, CD Lamb's at three years, Micah Parsons three years, Trayvon Diggs is two years. Aubrey's the only guy that has a one year deal left. The problem is, is we're winning games. If we actually win the Super Bowl this year, the first year that I take over, then I don't need to touch this team. But if we choke, if we lose, then we might have to move Brandon Aubrey to save some cap to be able to re-sign Dak Prescott. All right, the America is QB. Well, let me just take a look across the league here. Let me see what's in the league. I'm looking for more of a vet, a veteran player that can help us on a cheap contract. That is what we're really looking for, all right? We got Vaughn Miller here. He could be the answer. $7 million, he's retiring. So we know the contract's coming off the books after this year. It's cheaper than Aubrey. Two and a half star player, but he brings in some veteran experience. He's won a Super Bowl before with the Denver Broncos. I'm looking at Vaughn Miller, man. Let's make it trade. Brandon Aubrey for Vaughn Miller, all right? I don't think I can afford Brandon Aubrey next year anyways. So let's just get him off the books, all right? Let's see if this trade will go through. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to ask Jerry Jones, you know what I'm saying? Can I trade Brandon Aubrey for Vaughn Miller? Jerry Jones says yes. Okay, thank you, Jerry. Jerry's on my side with this deal. The Bills have accepted our offer too. Okay, that's our first deal. Vaughn Miller is on the team. The fans don't like it. Okay, the fans hate me. But Vaughn Miller, he's America's linebacker. Look at him. Look at his glasses. No stamina at all, but he's here to help Micah Parsons, man. Mike is young. I learned from a guy like Vaughn Miller, you know what I'm saying? All right, I think that's gonna be the only move I'm gonna make. Bye week here, you know what I'm saying? Let's spend some time. Let's spend some time with uh, Vaughn Miller. Team Vaughn exercise, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody go to Vaughn Miller's house, you know what I mean? Let's get a barbecue going. All right, I'll sleep over at Jerry Jones' house. We good, baby. See, Micah Parsons already growing. You see that veteran presence of having Vaughn around, you know what I mean? Shout out King Vaughn. All right, let's see how we sim the rest of the year with Vaughn Miller, man. Here we go. We're down 14 to 7 in Atlanta. Come on, boys. We gotta beat Atlanta, man. Oh, we lose in Vaughn Miller's debut. Okay, the Cowboys are in a wild card spot. We're still 6 and 3. Don't have my staff in the building just yet, all right? We have Zeke Elliott. But look at our coordinators, man. One star Tiuli. Her name is just Tiuli. But this is my first time not seeing a first name. We have a three and a half star offense, three star defense. We don't have any D linemen. We also don't have a tight end. If this team wins the Super Bowl, I would consider it lucky. All right, but let's see if we could do it. If we could do it, I mean, I'd be very happy. Cowboys fans would rejoice, man. We haven't seen a Super Bowl in, in so long. I can't believe I just said we. Kind of uncomfortable, you know what I mean? I'm not used to being on the Cowboys side. I usually hate on this team. Oh, Tom Brady's commentating. You know what I'm saying? Tom Brady's in the booth right now. Here we go, Tom. Here we go, Tom. Here we go, Tom. Let's go, Tom. Tom Miller was on point. Yeah. Yeah, the vet. I'm telling you, man, he's helping Micah Parsons grow right now. Look at Micah Parsons, 14 tackles. He wasn't doing that before Vaughn. Then take me to the O, Vaughn. Take me to the O, baby. Take me to the O. Take me to Denver. Oh, Vaughn Miller revenge game. Vaughn is back. They're giving him a standing O right now. Everybody stand up for Vaughn. Shout out Vaughn. Yeah, we blowing him out in Vaughn's house. Nine and three, Cowboys. Vaughn Miller had an outstanding game. Playing pretty well, man. Hold on. Regular season has never been the problem for the Cowboys, though. It's always been the playoffs. Can this team get it done in the playoffs? All right, here we go. Overtime against the Eagles. We lose our last regular season game. We finished 12 and 5, number one team in the NFC. Cowboys fans are hype, man. Vaughn Miller's last year. Can the Dallas Cowboys finally end the Super Bowl drought, man? Please, just do it in one year. I don't want to be here for another three hours, man. Oh, let me go sleep over at Jerry's. Trayvon Diggs gets an upgrade. Here we go. Let's take a look at some regular season stats. Dak Prescott, 8,423 yards, Jesus Christ. QB stats are still inflated in this game. All right, they haven't fixed that just yet. Only four picks. All right, he took eight sacks, though. I'm not a fan of that. Do not have an O-line, though. All right, Zeke Elliott receiving 782 yards. What the hey, That's hell? not bad. 49 receptions over the air. 2,821 yards for Zeke. 299 rush attempts. What is that? 9.4 yards per carry. That is absolutely amazing. Shout out Zeke, man. 28 touchdowns, two fumbles. All right, what's CD Lamb? He's now a five-star player. We've gotten him up to a five star 6,833 yards. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think this is the best receiver I've ever had in this game. 63 touchdowns on the year, man. Shout out to CeeDee Lamb. What a player, man. Let's take a look at the defensive side of the ball. Micah Parsons is now a five-star two. 194 tackles, six picks, just one sack on the year. Interesting. I think that's because the game has him as a linebacker, so he's not going to be registered as many sacks, but what about Vaughn Miller? Let's take a look at Vaughn. 96 tackles. He's got one sack, too. Okay, so we're not getting to the quarterback. Might need a D lineman to help us in the future, but the team is winning, so I don't really care. Trayvon Diggs, four picks on the year, 117 tackles, two forced fumbles. Not bad, but this is it, man. Parsons is 25. Diggs is 25. Dak is 31. Zeke is 29. 25 years old, CD Lamb. Like, this is a prime Cowboys team. We gotta be able to get it done in the playoffs, man. I'm not trying to fail as a Cowboys playoff performer. We've already had the Tony Romo fumble, all right? We know what happened with Dez, all right? 
Dez caught it, but he did it. You know what I'm saying? And now we gotta get into the playoffs here. We got a first round by the Panthers beat the Eagles 19 to 14. <laughs> Shout out to Eagles, man. The Niners beat the Bears. The Niners are in the playoffs. Who else we got, man? The Commanders are in the playoffs. They beat the Lions. On the AFC side, the Raiders are in the AFC Championship game. They beat the Dolphins 23-16. to That's interesting. Who else we got? The Ravens beat the Texans. So it's Raiders, Ravens. On the AFC side, we play our division rivals, the Commanders. They actually have a better offense than us. They're four and a half star offense. Let me take a look at the Commanders here. Jaden Daniels. Rookie year, Jaden Daniels did not have the best year at all. 1,520 yards. This guy throws touchdowns, man. 35 touchdowns in 18 games. Austin Eckler, this bald man. 18 games, only 568 rushing yards, all right? We're not, we're not too worried about him. We might not even be able to see him, man. But they got Zach Ertz and this guy, John Bates. A nice little tight end duo here. And then they got Jamison Crowder at receiver. He's still playing? What the hell? I thought he was out of the league, man. Him and Byron Pringle are the receivers. This is such a weird team. Defensive side of the ball, Jonathan Allen. This is the main guy. We don't have an old lineman. All right, he might eat us today. CD Lamb should be eating this guy alive, all right? There's no way he's supposed to be stopping us. They got K York at kicker. Come on, guys. This is not a team that we should be losing to. We're at home, all right? We're the number one seed. We can't be choking in the playoffs, man. We open the roof, you know what I'm saying? God is watching us play football. The commander started off, and they started out with a touchdown the first drive. All right, come on, Zeke. Come on, Zeke. Incomplete. Okay, we're choking already. Dak Prescott, what is happening? Oh my God, this is the problem, isn't it? It's the playoffs. It's always the playoffs. Commander's 53 yard field goal. K York missed the field goal. We'll take that. Come on. Come on, Dak. Come on, Dak. Here we go, Dak. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Guys. Oh, oh, Vaughn Miller was. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I traded for a dinosaur. I traded for a dinosaur. Why did Jerry Jones approve? Oh, interception. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh my god, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Stephen A is making this video. We're doing it again. Oh, the Cowboys are choking in the playoffs. I knew this would happen. Oh, this can't be real. Oh, we're getting, we got sacked. Jonathan Allen. Oh, 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 but it's 27 to 3. They go for two? What the hell are the commanders on? Why do they even go for two? Dak, what's happening? How do we have three points? Where's CeeDee Lamb? Where's Zeke? Incomplete. 60 yard field goal. We don't have a kicker. Why do we try that? We gave him 30. We gave him 30 points on the first half. Jerry Jones, he might be yelling racial slurs right now. We are down by 20 to the 9-8 and eight Washington Commanders at halftime. As the one seed in the NFC, we are down by 20 to the Washington Commanders. Guys, we need to wake up. What is happening? Touchdown, Austin Eckler. This is the actual Cowboys. This is the actual Cowboys. Incomplete. Dak Prescott, what is he doing? Oh, my God. Oh my god. Look at this. 54 points for Jaden Daniels. We choke again. It, it's happened again. Same thing every year. Stephen A. Smith making his video. 57 to 22 for the commanders. What the hell was that? 1% fans. You know what? I deserve it. Jesus Christ. Christ, man. Vaughn Miller was on point. Now, nah, send him to the retirement home. I don't want to hear that, man. Dak Prescott. 281 yards, two touchdowns. Half of those were probably in the fourth quarter. We were down by 30, and we only had to throw. Two sacks, one pick, four out of 10 rating. Jesus Christ. Zeke had a 10 out of 10. CeeDee Lamb, 236 on the touchdown. Parsons, Vaughn Miller, Trayvon Diggs, all 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10s, but defense gave up 57. We need more bodies, man. We need more players on this team, man. That is absolutely embarrassing. Let's see. Who's going to win the Super Bowl in year one? MVP was Dak. Dak Prescott, are you kidding me right now? Dude, this game's trolling me, man. Offensive player of the year was CeeDee Lamb. Defensive player of the year, Micah Parsons. We swept the awards. But once again, we're a regular season team. We don't win the Super Bowl. The Ravens win the Super Bowl against the Niners. Dude, this game is actually trolling me. Every single rebuild. The Niners always lose the Super Bowl, man. I'm, I, I, ah! Ah! That's the end of year one. That's honest. That's actually so depressing. Here we go. The start of the year two, and there's a big decision that needs to be made. Vaughn Miller has retired at the age of 36. Thank you, Vaughn. You helped Micah Parsons grow, all right? But Dak Prescott's contract has expired. Do we want to extend Dak Prescott? He's only asking for 40 million, so he actually wants a pay cut. Okay, this is like the opposite of Dak Prescott in real life, but he dropped by half a star. He's regressed. Now, he did just win MVP in this world. If it was up to me, honestly, I don't know, because we know what he can do in the regular season. That's not the problem. The problem is the playoffs. He just didn't show up, man. He didn't string together any drives. He was taking sacks, throwing picks. Wasn't good enough, man. So, I don't know, man. I don't even want him, man. I don't know. Let me ask Jerry first. Because if Jerry says no, we gotta get rid of him anyways, alright? Hello, Jerry. Should we re-sign Dak Prescott? He says no. Okay. <laughs> Jerry doesn't want him here. He doesn't care about the MVP. He wants a Super Bowl. I like it, Jerry. Okay, fine. We're not re-signing him. We're letting him go. 
He's gone. Dak Prescott is gone. I don't know where he went, but he's no longer on the Cowboys. All right, well, we got four players. This is a huge draft in year two. All right, we're getting rid of Dak Prescott quick. Jerry Jones wanted him out. I can't overrule Jerry Jones. You know what I mean? Here we go. Year two draft. We have all three of our picks. The number one guys are running back. Is there a quarterback in this draft? Shaq? Shaq. You're telling me this guy's name is Shaquille. Shaq Herbig. Four and a half star potential. Oh my God. Who else? Amba Pepper. Three and a half star potential. Not really a fan of him. We have a guy named Caleb Dalton here. Three star potential. This looks like a weak quarterback class outside of Shaq. Got max arm strength potential. I mean, this is a this is a stand in the pocket kind of guy. But let's take a look at some other players. We only have four scout players left. We have Odell Riley. He's the number one player in the draft. He's a running back. We also have a tight end. We don't have a tight end on the team, but we also don't have a D lineman on the team. Oh, he's got five star potential. Hold on, hold on, Jerry. We have a decision here, man. Because if we get a D lineman, I'm telling you, that rounds it out. John Vea Addison. John Vail. Let me just scout this tight end too. Justice Bullock, four and a half star tight end. All right, Jerry. Could also go O-line here. Five star O-lineman, Carlton Jordan. All right, let me ask Jerry. Let me see which players Jerry likes. All right, Bullock, the tight end. Addison, the D-lineman. He's personally my favorite. I think we need a D-lineman. We need to improve the pass rush, all right? Jordan, the O-lineman, the five star potential O-lineman, Carlton Jordan, and the quarterback, Shaq Herbig. All right, Jerry Jones. Who do you like? Jerry says no to Bullock. He says yes to Addison. Yes to Jordan, but no to Shaq. He does not want Shaq Herbig. He doesn't see it in him. Jerry Jones, man. He wants to show up the line of scrimmage. You know what? I kind of like it. All right, with the first pick in the year two NFL draft, the Dallas Cowboys are proud to select John Vea Addison. D lineman. All right, let's shore up the line of scrimmage. We need to apply some pressure on the opposing quarterbacks. All right, he's got five star potential. This guy's a beast. He's already max strength. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be in the weight room with Micah. With our second round pick, the Dallas Cowboys are proud to select. Select O-lineman Carlton Jordan. We're picking up an O-lineman before we get a quarterback, all right? We still have 21, no, 31 million here in round three, all right? Riley's still on the board. Odell Riley. Jerry, do you like Odell Riley over Zeke Elliott? He, he does not. Okay. He does not like Odell Riley. He loves Zeke. Oh, okay, Jerry Jones starting to piss me off, man. I would have taken Shaq Herbig by now. All right. This is what it feels to be a Cowboys GM. All right. Okay. I get why nobody wants this job. Let me just ask him about the rest of this first page. All right. Who, who does Jerry Jones actually want? He said no to most people here except for Phil on. Shane Phillon, tight end. He likes Wilds, a DB here, a white DB, and then Pepper. He likes Amba Pepper. What, what, what does he like about him? Speed? I'm so confused. I, I, I don't like him. Let's take this guy, all right? Shane Phillon. This is a Jerry Jones pick right here, man. What potential does Shane Phillon have? My bad, Jerry. My fault. Okay. J Jerry knows ball. Jerry wanted Shane Phillon. All right, I I'll take it. All right, no scouting. Jerry just likes the film. Shane Phillon is a Dallas Cowboy. That is our first draft right there. Shane Phillon, Carlton Jordan, O lineman, and John Vea Addison, the D lineman with five star potential. Draft is over and the season can begin. We don't have a quarterback. We have 21 million. JJ McCarthy's a free agent. Okay, let me let me, let me, let me ask Jerry. Hey, Jerry, do you like JJ McCarthy? He likes him. Okay, okay, that's an option. He's 6CC though, which is a bit annoying. All right, let's take a look around the league, see if there's another quarterback that we can afford. We only have $21 million. We get a Drake May here, 6 million. Does Jerry Jones like Caleb? Let me ask Jerry Jones. Jerry, do you like Caleb Williams? He does not. Yeah, it's the nails, the skin color maybe. Drake May slash JJ McCarthy, really my best option. Do I have to go with JJ McCarthy? It's pretty cheap, only $7 million. You know what? $7 million for the next three years. He's got good throw accuracy. Put the ball in the money. Arms strength is low, like really low, but you know what? I'm gonna sign JJ McCarthy to the Cowboys. He's gonna be our quarterback for now. Not saying he's the quarterback of the future. We're not gonna rush into that conclusion. But with Trayvon Diggs's contract coming up, he might ask for a lot of money next year. We need some salary cap flexibility. JJ McCarthy offers us that and gives us a chance to win. He's got potential for arm strength as well. Let's see if he improves, all right? This is a year two team. JJ McCarthy debut, he loses. All right, the fans are booing him already. Browns are offering DB Michael Odileye as a trade. In return, they want a third round pick. Let me take a look at Odeleya. Oh, wow. One and a half star. Jesus. Yes or no, Jerry? Jerry says no. Reject. We'll see you later. I can't even make the trade if I want to. I kind of like Odeleya's game. Here we go. We're at the trade deadline. We're five and three. The division does not look good this year, man. The Eagles are two and six. Giants are two and five. Commanders are three and four. We just beat the Commanders. Asian McCarthy's looking good. He's grown to a two star. DeLon's gone up to a three and a half star, right? Carlton Jordan has grown a bit. You know what I mean? He's maxed out his blocking as well. John Vea Addison. Got four sacks on 
on the year, all right? He's doing pretty well so far. Let's see if we can make the playoffs with this team. Here we go. Last game of the year against the Eagles right here. The Cowboys are 12-5 and five again. We're number one. We're tied for the best record in NFC. It's looking a lot like the year we had last year. We had a great regular season, a great second half of the year. The lawn gets an upgrade right here, man. Let me take a look, man. After the trade deadline, man. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, 4-1, 5-1, 6-1, 6-2, 7-2. Seven and two after the trade deadline. We're heading into the playoffs hot, all right? This has got to be the year. Can we please not choke in the playoffs this year? The Ravens beat the Colts. The Ravens are back again after winning the Super Bowl last year, man. Jets, Buffalo. The Bills beat the Jets. Josh Allen is in the building, all right? Cleveland Chargers. The Browns beat the Chargers. In the NFC, you got Chicago and Detroit. The Bears beat the Lions in an NFC North playoff game. Interesting. San Francisco, New Orleans. The Saints beat the Niners. Wow. 44 to 27, and we have the Rams at home. All right, Matt Stafford, Puka Nakua. All right, that's really it. We got Rob Havenstein. He's a pretty good old lineman. He does have max blocking here, so that's going to be a bit tough for Addison. It's his first playoff game. So Matt Stafford and Matt Strength, man. The rookie is four and a half star now. I'm looking for him to get to the quarterback. All right, before we get into the game, though, let's take a look at some regular season stats. JJ McCarthy this year, 8,200 yards. He pretty much put up the same thing as Dak Prescott. He also had eight picks. So it's the exact same thing. All right, 17 games. We did not need Dak. So far, Jerry Jones is actually making the right decision, man. And only for $7 million a year. That's a bargain. Zeke Elliott's up to a four and a half star now. 561 receiving. That's regressed. 2,845 yards. Okay, so Zeke Elliott, his stats have gone down a bit from last year. 30 years old. I mean, this is kind of when running backs start to, you know, lose their ACL. Shane Fillon, all right? The tight end that Jerry Jones won into the third round. 1,300 yards, 92 receptions, eight touchdowns. He's not really a touchdown machine. He's got three fumbles. What the hell, Jerry? He's a weird player, man. Shane Fillon, bro. He kind of he kind of looks in, bro. CD Lamb. Let's take a look. Reigning offensive player of the year. 5,388 yards. He's regressed as well. Receiving yards have gone down. Still 5,000 yards, though. 51 touchdowns in 17 games. That's three a game. I need three from you in this playoff game, CD Lamb. Come on, buddy. Carlton Jordan. 126 blocks in 17 games. I don't know what that means. But he did give up eight sacks this year. That's one every two games. Not very happy about that. I've been protecting the quarterback, man. John Vea Addison in his rookie year. He trailed off after the trade deadline. Only five sacks on the year. He had four at the trade deadline. All right, buddy. I'm gonna need you to step it up in the playoffs though, man. Three force fumbles, which I like. Only 89 tackles as a D-line. Did not really sim well, but it's his rookie year. So we're giving him a pass. Micah Parsons, 161 tackles, three picks. He's got five sacks. I think his sack amount improved because we also have a D-lineman now. So that takes away some attention. You know, they were, you used to be double teaming Micah Parsons. Now you can't do that with Addison on the field. You know what I'm saying? Five-star potential linebacker, Micah Parsons right there. And then we have Trayvon Diggs. Eight interceptions this year. That went up. All right, he's going to ask for more money next year. That's awesome. 168 tackles, eight picks. That's what I'm expecting out of Trayvon Diggs. He's playing well. But we need to perform in the playoffs. We look good in the regular season. We look like the best team on planet Earth in the regular season. What are we going to do in the playoffs? Are we going to come out here against the Rams, the 9-8 and eight Rams? They're 9-8 and eight against Nick Hampton. Are we going to play against Nick Hampton? Or are we going to choke again, man? Come on, y'all. It's a new regime. New GM. Four and a half star offense. Four star defense. We should be beating this two star defense. NFC wild card game. Let's get it started. We're back playing at home. The roof is open once again. God is watching over us. All right, here we go. Diggs wasn't strong enough. Oh, my God. Oh, Addison was too slow. This is happening again. No, no. I can't do two years of this, man. No, no, no. I can't do two years of this. Oh, my God. I'm losing my brain cells. No, this is actually worse than the Browns rebuild. And that took me three hours. Come on, McCarthy, McCarthy, McC oh. No, 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 this team is cursed. This team is cursed. We're down 9-0 already. Come on, guys, it's still early. I still believe. I Jordan! Incomplete pass. All right, we give him another field goal. Why do we have no points in the first quarter? Short of the first down. We can't get the offense going. Oh, my God, we're not moving chains. We're not doing anything. Defense is just letting him through. Oh, it's happening again. Another field goal. They missed it. Guys, come on. This is our chance, man. The home fans are booing, man. Come on, Cowboys. Here we go. Run the ball. Hand it off. Here we go, Zeke. Here we go, Zeke. Pass. Okay, that works. McCarthy, touchdown. Oh my God, Matt Stafford. He's dialing it up. This defense, again, is not doing anything in the playoffs. McCarthy incomplete. We're down a half. Guys, I cannot lose another playoff game. I cannot go 0-2 in the playoffs as a Cowboys GM. Guys, come on, please. I would actually get fired if we lose this game. There you go, McCarthy. Addison, we gotta play better than this. Micah Parsons, we gotta play better than this, man. What, what, Micah Parsons, our star player, our linebacker. What is happening? How are we letting them score this easily? Oh, here we go again. Oh my God, the Cowboys. 
boys are choking again. Micah Parsons, he's having the worst game of his life. Rams are in the red zone. Hands it off. Addison, can we do something? Jesus Christ, we're back down by two possessions. Offense. I need to drive. I need to drive. Go for the pass. JJ McCarthy response. Here we go. Here we go. Incomplete. Finally. Oh my God. Yes. As we head into the fourth quarter, please come back. No, this is actually a joke. No, I, I, I can't believe this is happening. No, this team is cursed. Interception. JJ McCarthy, another pick. Oh my God. Oh my God. 12 and 5. 12 and 5 team. We can't beat 9 and 8 teams. We can't beat 9 and 8 teams in the playoffs. We get to the playoffs, we just lose it. We lose our brain cells. We just forget how to play football. 50 points for the Rams. We lose again. We lose again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm on the hot seat. I, I might get fired. Jerry, are you firing me? No. Oh my god, Jerry gives me another year. We lose to the Rams. Oh, this is embarrassing, man. We just can't get it done in the playoffs, man. This this is, this is the real-life Cowboys. This is literally the exact same thing, man. McCarthy, 441, six touchdowns, empty calories, man. Two picks in the fourth quarter, not good enough. Zeke, 197 and a touchdown. Philon, 60 yards. What the hell, man? CeeDee Lamb, 361. Carlton Jordan. Jerry Jones' draft pick. Two rating. Two. Michael Parsons, honestly, he didn't show up, man. That's not what star players do, man. Star players show up in the biggest moments, in the biggest games. He did not show up today, man. I don't care. Michael Parsons did not play well. I did not like what I saw out there, man. Shane Fillon won Rookie of the Year. Jerry Jones' draft pick, man. All right, Shane Fillon, congratulations. MVP, JJ McCarthy won MVP. They might give us every award except for the Super Bowl. CeeDee Lamb, Offensive Player of the Year yet again. Defensive Player of the Year this year was Trayvon Diggs. He's gonna ask for a big contract. Shane Fillon wins Rookie of the Year. Super Bowl MVP was Miles Sanders. You tell me the Carolina Panthers won the Super Bowl? Oh my god. They won it over the Cleveland Browns. No, I'm getting trolled. This is the, I'm actually getting trolled. Teams want me, man. The Jaguars want me. All right, NFC teams want me. The Commanders want me. But I'm staying with Jerry. All right, I'm staying with him. He wants me back. The new season begins. Here we go. We let go of our coordinators. Fulgham, Tiuli's contract has expired. Good riddance, man. I think we need some new coordinators for this year. We got to bring in our own staff. All right, first things first. Trayvon Diggs' contract. He wants 19 mil. That's not too bad. We can take him back on the team for 19 mil for sure, man. Eight picks last year. Trayvon Diggs is back on the squad. Now, look, I know Tiuli made McCarthy an MVP. I know she made Lamb an offense player of the year, and I know he developed a rookie of the year in Philon. I need my own staff. All right, please, Jerry, let me hire my people. I think that's the only change I could really make. I have 12 million left. Best believe I'm going to use it too, all right? But let's take a look at staff hires first. Let's refresh the hires. Let me take a look at this list. Here we go. Clear favorite here is Kettner Joseph. He's a schemer. He'll cost me 25 CZ. Let me ask Jerry, man. I signed Kettner Joseph as my OC. Oh, we got Jerry's approval. All right, let's bring him in. Hire him right now. Kentner Joseph brings our offense to a five-star offense. Once the guy's training hard. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be training hard. We need a new defensive coordinator, too. The only guy that we can afford is Sauber, Benson, Stacy Penn. Jerry Jones says no to Sauber, no to Penn. He says yes to Benson. Bryce Benson. He's a talent spot. I'm using all my coaching credits. We're not going to extend our salary cap. Jerry Jones has given us enough money. I think I can win within this 150 mil salary cap limit. All right, Benson. Benson and Joseph are in. I have my own staff. Let's see if there's anyone in this draft that can help us win a Super Bowl this year, all right? It's Super Bowl or bust this year. We've lost two playoff games. I'm sick of it, all right? Maybe we need a new receiver. Rashad Moss, four-star potential right here. Devlin Watkins, four-star potential. Not good enough. So we have our first-round pick. Now, because we have McCarthy on a cheap deal and he put up an MVP season, I'm gonna keep McCarthy. Now, I definitely do think we need an another offensive weapon. I think we might need another receiver. I think two receivers sims pretty well in this game. This guy, Carlton Jordan. 129 blocks last year. He did not play well in that playoff game. I'm not sure he helps our cause. He's got five-star potential. I think I want to trade for a receiver, and I was looking at George Pickens, all right? One dot issue. Jerry Jones, I know you like Jordan, all right? He is your pick, but can I trade Jordan for George Pickens? Jerry Jones says yes, he likes Jordan. Can I trade Jordan for Pickens? No. All right, this guy's pissing me off. Let me take a look. Who else is there? I need a receiver. Devontae Adams. What about Devontae Adams? Yes, let's try it. 33 years old. I know he's old, but it's Devontae. One of the best receivers in the game. All right, we're trading Carlton Jordan. Four-star old lineman. I don't know why I keep taking these old linemen. They never work. Can we get Devontae Adams on the Cowboys? The Raiders have rejected my offer. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind. Can I trade Jordan for D-Hop? He says yes. Okay, I have permission. Will the Titans accept this trade? Carlton Jordan for DeAndre Hopkins. They've rejected my offer. Nobody wants Carlton Jordan. I think the league knows he's ass. Jordan Addison, maybe? Three-star player? All right, what about Jordan Addison? Jerry seems to be pretty in favor of me trading for a receiver. He doesn't like Jordan Addison, though. All right, Chris Olave. Oh, we just got to keep trying this, man. What about CO? He doesn't like CO. He does not like Chris Olave. Mike Evans. <laughs> Jerry! Please! 
please! No! No to Mike Evans. Oh, I'm about to lose my mind. Well, what about Tyree Kill? Tyree Kill? If he says no to Tyree Kill, he said no to Tyree Kill. He Jerry Jones doesn't want Tyree Kill. What the hell is wrong with this guy? I, I, I'm about to kill him. Jerry Judy. What about Jerry Judy? He says no to Jerry Judy. Okay, Keenan Allen. He said no to Keenan. He, okay, what, what, what do you want, Jerry? This is pissing me off now. Why, why did I make this rule? Why did I make this bot? All right, I think we got to pick one up in the draft. I think it's got to be either Moss or Watkins. Let me ask, do you like Moss or Watkins? He doesn't like any of them. He doesn't want a receiver. Like, what, brother, what is your plan? We clearly need one. How the hell does he want to build this team, man? Who does he want? Slayton? Ott. Where's Slayton? Slayton, 11 mil. Ott, 10 mil. These guys are terrible. Three-star rating. Three, three, oh my gosh, Jerry. All right, I'm gonna trade the first round pick. Can I trade the first round pick for CC? Okay, I can do that at least. Let me trade the first round pick. Let me just get three CC. Round two, Slayton's still here. Ott is still here. What about Compton? Compton at least has four and a half star. Let me ask about Compton. Compton? No. No for Compton. <laughs> McTire, four and a half star. Hard. Okay, this is a DB draft, man. Look at these four and a half star potential DBs. Surely? Yeah, let me have one of them. Hart! Okay. With our second round pick, the Dallas Cowboys select Paul Hart. All right, let, let me take him. Now we can't pick anyone, so we got to sell this coaching credit. The draft is over. Jerry Jones doesn't let me get any receiver. He wants me to keep Carlton Jordan because he was the one who made the selection. He picks Paul Hart. All right, this is our team for this year. And guys, this is still a good team. We got new coordinators. We got a five star defense, five star offense. We got to win it this year, man. This has to be the year. All right, we're at the trade deadline. We're six and one. Listen, this is a different team. All right, we shut out a team in three minute quarters on hard difficulty 48 to zero. I know it's the Giants, but still, this defense is different. All right, Hart's been playing well. Two picks in seven games. Shout out to Hart with Jordan, man. 55 blocks in seven games. How many times has McCarthy gotten touched? Two times. I'm telling you guys, man. Man, this is not the formula to win, man. We need a better offense. I think I can move him for a receiver. Now, because we drafted Hart, we're a bit more salary restricted this time, but I have found a receiver that I do like that could be that perfect number two to CD land and give McCarthy more options on the field, all right? And that receiver is Robert Woods, $13 million, 34 years of age. He's got experience. He's played in the Super Bowl before, I believe. And I acquire Robert Woods for Jordan. Jerry Jones has given me the green light. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we need to make this trade. Carlton Jordan, it's not your fault, buddy. You're a four and a half star player. You got five star potential. You got a bright future ahead of you. But you're not in the Cowboys' plans. All right, let's make this trade for Robert Woods. They have accepted our deal. Robert Woods is on the team. He's the new Cowboys number two wide receiver. He's probably got two years left. He's 34 years old. He brings in that experience. It's kind of like the Von Miller move I made in year one. Hopefully, he helps out this offense, man. Let's go, man. Let's make a push for that Super Bowl. JJ McCarthy has suffered a foot injury. Are you kidding me? We're at the end of the regular season. Oh my god, no. No. No! <laughs> five games, five games. Oh my god. Oh, we have no quarterback. Oh, we're gonna have no quarterback in the playoffs. No, man. One, two. Oh, he's gonna miss three games in the playoffs. That's our whole playoff run. Oh. We have one million in salary cap. What do I do? What can I do? I, I can't. I, I I can't sign anyone. I, I I can't even get Jameis. I have to play with no quarterback. Oh. <laughs> 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 we lose to Washington. Oh my God. We have no quarterback. Oh, this game is awesome. Oh, I love this game. Oh, I'm losing brain cells. I am losing brain cells, ladies and gentlemen. I am losing brain cells. Is there anything I can do? I, I literally, I can't, I just have to, I just have to let this marinate. Four, four, four games. He's out for four games. Last game of the regular season. I, I actually want to end this so badly. I need to win this year, man. I don't even have a backup quarterback. I should have gotten a backup quarterback. We finished 14 out of three. It's our best regular season we've ever had. But none of this matters. Clearly none of this matters. Regular season never matters. With the Cowboys, it never does. Nobody cares. Nobody pays attention because we never get it done in the playoffs. Ezekiel Elliott, 770 reception yards, 2,800. Doesn't matter in the playoffs. Villon, 1,000 receiving. What the hell? He's going down. 3,782 yards. He's regressing too. CD Lamb, 35 touchdowns. I swear his touchdown production went down too. Robert Woods, like, that, that's the number two though. Helping us out, man. We're making CD Lamb our kick returner. Robert Woods, our number two. John Vea Addison, eight, seven sacks this year. Sack production went down. Tackling amount still isn't as high as I want it to be. Four and a half star player though. Micah Parsons, 155 tackles, three picks. Two sacks, four for four. Th 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 Trayvon Diggs, four interceptions, 170 tackles. There you go. Good job tackling there. And Paul Hart in his first year, 155 tackles, three pick. That's a good DB pairing, man, but it doesn't matter because we're in the playoffs now. No JJ McCarthy, 7,300 yards. He was on track for another MVP year. He might win MVP again. If Kentner Joseph can scheme it up 
in the playoffs without a quarterback. Can we survive? All right, here we go. First game, Dolphins beat the Bengals. Who else we got, man? Baltimore beats the Texans. Baltimore is again making a run. Cleveland versus New York. The Browns beat the Jets. The Browns are looking to make the Super Bowl again. They made it last year. They lost to the Panthers, remember that. The Bears beat the Lions. The Niners beat the Saints. And here we go. Oh my God, it's a rematch. It's the same team, guys. They got worse. They're eight and nine this year. It's the same guys. They uh, they brought in this guy, Scotty Kirk. He sucks. It's the exact same team. All right, guys, we remember the pain that they inflicted in us last year. We remember the fans booing us off the field last year at home. We're playing once again this year. We have a new number two wide receiver. We have new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator, new DB. I know we don't have JJ McCarthy. But guys, the Cowboys fans, they've waited long enough. All right, this has to be it right here, man. We're playing at home yet again. Please, you know what? I'm just gonna skip time. First quarter. 14-14. How are we giving up 14 points? Nobody on our defense got hurt, man. All right, here we go. No QB. The Cowboys are finally playing well. Let's slow it down. Here we go. No name QB. No name QB. Oh, he got sacked. Oh, my God. Oh, this is a Robert Woods revenge game. I just remembered. Robert Woods, I need you to go crazy, man. We're down. How are we losing, man? We went 14-3 and in the regular season. Here we go. Robert Woods. Robert Woods touchdown. Let's get it, man. We get stopped on the two-point conversion. It's okay. We have the lead. That's all that matters. Defense, can we please get stops? Guys, Michael Parsons, it's time for you to show up in a playoff game. And there you go. We stopped him to a field goal. Kentner Joseph. Kentner Joseph is scheming. Kentner Joseph is on the clipboard. He's, he's joining plays. He missed the extra point, though. What is happening? How are we keeping it in one possession? Micah. 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 I need to play Micah. M Micah. Micah! Oh my god, he's actually terrible. He's, he's actually terrible. We're up two, though. Two minutes left. Please don't choke. I just want to win a playoff game, man. I just want to win. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have no quarterback. Oh no, I can't do this. I can't I can't do this, guys. I can't do this. I, I can't take this, man. I, I can't do it, man. My defense, they just, they just don't know how to play football. Addison was too slow. Are you serious? We're losing. We're losing. One minute left. Please, Kettner. Please. Yes, Zeke. Come on. Good first play. Yes. Yes! 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 Oh my god, we're up by three. Oh my god, please, this is it! Yes! The Cowboys have won a playoff game! We beat the Rams 47 to 44. Jesus Christ, they're making me sweat it out, man. What a playoff game there. I thought we were gonna lose again, man. Oh my god, the Rams, bro. The 8 and 9 Rams. Paul Hart was on point. Shout out, Paul Hart. Holy crap, let's take a look at some ratings, man. Zeke with the big last minute drive right there. Shout out, Zeke, man. 268 and three touchdowns. Milan with a touchdown. Robert Woods, three touchdowns. This is why I brought him in at a trade deadline. I'm telling you guys, man, you need that number two wide receiver. CD Landon had the best day today. Addison, six tackles, six ratings. Micah Parsons, bro. This guy's pissed. Pissing me off. He's supposed to be one of the best defensive players in the entire league. What is he doing? Two rating, bro. Two rating. Actually embarrassing, man. Trayvon Diggs, 10 out of 10. Paul Hart, 9 out of 10. The DBs are holding it down. Jesus Christ, man. Micah Parsons. Absolutely embarrassing. But we win a playoff game. Finally. Jerry, did you enjoy that playoff game? Jerry enjoyed it. He's finally seen a playoff win with your boy at GM. All right, here we go. Baltimore, KC. The Chiefs beat the Ravens. 47 to 26. They blow them out. Miami, Cleveland. The Dolphins beat the Browns. All right, interesting. So it's Dolphins, Chiefs on the AFC side. Let's take a look at the NFC. Chicago against Carolina. The Bears beat the reigning Super Bowl champions. 34 to 23. The Bears are in the NFC championship. Oh my God, we play the Niners. We play my Niners, man, without a quarterback. McCarthy still injured for two games. He's coming back for the Super Bowl. This is insane, man. Who do the Niners got? My boy. My boy! Lock Purdy in the building. Max arm strength. Almost max throw accuracy. He's a dog. McCaffrey. Dog. Look at this, man. Max strength. Max B. Max stamina. Just a beast, man. Brandon IU. BA. An absolute threat, man. Fred Warner. He's got the green dot. He's playing a lot better than Micah Parsons. His bum ass. Jesus Christ, man. Dre Greenlaw's there as well, man. Shout out my boy Dre. Big play, Dre. We got Jake Moody at kicker, man. Come on, guys. I don't know how we're going to win this game without a quarterback. Can we scheme it up once again? Kettner Joseph. Let's get into the divisional game here. Back at home. We're opening the roof again. Here we go. First quarter. Oh, what a start. The Cowboys are rolling. Oh, my God. Bad second quarter. All right. We're up four. We're up four. We're up four. Here we go, defense. Here we go. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Hand it off. Give it to 
Zeke. Give it to Zeke. How is Zeke carrying us in year three? I don't know. But he is playing well, man. He's playing well in this playoff run. Come on. And an IU gets a touchdown there for the Niners, though. Cowboys, can we keep it going, man? Look at this. Look at... Oh, we're passing. Oh, my God. We scored a passing touchdown. With no quarterback. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we are three minutes away from an NFC Championship game. We have not made the championship game since 95. Come on. Short of first down. Micah. Micah. Hearts! Let's go! Traffic shows up. He forces a fumble. Yes! 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 Oh my god, we beat the Niners. We beat the Niners. I, I don't know why I'm happy about that. We are in the NFC Championship game. How are we doing this without a quarterback? I don't know. The Cowboys beat the Niners. The backup is in there hooping. 48 to 29, man. Defensive back Paul Hart had an outstanding game. Let's take a look at some ratings, man. Zeke, 297, three touchdowns. Oh my gosh. Actually eating. Philon, another touchdown. Robert Woods only at 58 yards. This time CeeDee Lamb showed up. Three touchdowns. Helping out the no-name QB, man. Addison, bum. Two rating, just an absolute bum. Parsons had a better game today. Seven tackles, seven rating. Still waiting for that 10 out of 10 game from Parsons. Man, Trayvon Diggs didn't have the best game, but Paul Hart, the DB that we just drafted, 12 tackles, a forced fumble, 10 out of 10 rating, player of the game. Shout out Paul Hart, man. Here we go. We have made it, Cowboys fan. Since 95, have not seen an NFC Championship game. We have finally made it. All right, Miami KC. The Dolphins beat the Chiefs. They have made the Super Bowl. They are AFC champions, all right, against the Bears. Who do the Bears have, man? Oh, they have Caleb, the LGBTQB1 that we tried to go for, but Jerry Jones said no. Keenan Allen, Jerry Jones said no. He did not want any of these Bears players, and now they're in the NFC Championship game. God damn it, Jerry, all right? Who do they have on defense, though? Demarcus Walker, Jack Sanborn, Josh Blackwell. That's so mediocre. I don't see a superstar on this team, man. There's no four and a half star player on this team. Look at our team. We're filthy rich with superstars on this team, man. But can we get it done? We're opening the roof. Back in Dallas. Here we go. We kick off, man. Let me activate the simulation. First quarter. All oh, right, that's not what God wanted to see. That's not the type of football God wanted us to play, man. There you go, tie to half. All right, come on, come on, Cowboys. Can we do it without a quarterback? Oh my God, quarterback throws it. How is he throwing it so far? How? Passing play, we're putting the trust in him. Edner Joseph is drawing it up. Defense, Micah Parsons, please, please, buddy. Can you do something? Please, Parsons was too slow. I'm so sick of him. I want to bench him. Like, I don't even want to play him. You know what I mean? Like, look at the, look at the no-name quarterback. Look at the backup absolutely hooping and then he's just missing tackles he just doesn't care he's too slow missing tackles 20 percent left like even my phone's sick of it oh my god this is a joke man we're down by one fourth quarter look at the offense look at look at zeke look at zeke trying to help defense please we need to stop parsons wasn't strong enough do something hard miss the tackle oh my god oh oh my god we're down we're down we're down why do we do this why do they want to give me a heart attack every single time one minute 56 seconds left we're down by three no name quarterback we need to drive to make the Super Bowl. He's driving us down the field. Please. Oh my God. The quarterback. He's dice him up. Throw over the middle. Touchdown. <laughs> oh, that's a big drive. 107 left. Micah. One drive. One drive. Please. Please. Addison. No. No. <laughs> Parsons. Oh my god, no, I gotta turn it off. I gotta turn it off. I gotta play here. We're down by three. 29 seconds left. Oh my god. Who the hell picked these jerseys, man? Why are we wearing the same color as them? Oh my god, we gotta go. We gotta go. CD Lamb, CD Lamb, CD Lamb. Out of bounds. Good first play there. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Find Philon, find Philon. Stop the clock there. All right, 20 seconds left. Just need a field goal, guys. We just need a field goal. CD, 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 CD Lamb. What a play, CD Lamb. Let's play on this team, man. Just give him the ball. Give him the ball, and he's gonna make plays out of bounds. Good job, CD. All right, we can work the middle of the field here. We gotta get closer. Remember, we don't have a kicker. We don't have a kicker. Oh my God, get down, get down. Timeout, three seconds left. What a drive by the no-name QB. We gotta go field goal here. Three seconds left. Come on, buddy. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from, but I need you to knock this down. This is how Brandon Aubrey made a name for himself. You know what I'm saying? He got signed from the UFL, XFL, whatever one of those leagues. He made a name for himself, man. Field goal to make the Super Bowl. To end the drought for the Dallas Cowboys. 33-yard field goal. Focus. Power, accuracy, please! Dogs! <laughs> yes! 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 Oh my god, the cowboy.
Cowboys over the Super Bowl. We beat the Bears 50 to 49. Micah Parsons, ass. Oh my God, the Cowboys are NFC champions. We're back in the Super Bowl. It's been since Troy Aikman, all right? It's been since Michael Irvin, since Emmitt Smith, all right? But we are back, CeeDee Lamb. What a clutch way to end that game right there, man. Robert Woods with 317, my goodness. Micah Parsons, zero tackles, zero picks. Zero sacks, one out of ten. I might bench it. I genuinely, I'm, I'm, I'm so pissed off right now. I, I think I'm gonna bench it. We have made it to the Super Bowl. The Cowboys are in the Super Bowl. I cannot believe it. JJ McCarthy is back. Now look, you dropped 50 on the Bears, 48 on the Niners. Do we roll with the backup? I don't know. And another discussion is, do we bench this guy? Because he stinks. Zero, 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 zero. Bro, this guy, oh my God. I, I didn't actually think about benching. I'm benching him. I'm benching him. Wait, hold on. Is that okay, Jerry? Jerry says yes. Okay, Jerry's giving me the approval. Jerry, you want JJ McCarthy in the Super Bowl. What would you guys do here? If your backup quarterback has taken you all the way to the Super Bowl, I know we have MVP JJ McCarthy, but he hasn't played in five weeks. He's rusty. All right, he just came back from injury. Who would you guys go with? Jerry Jones wants me to start JJ McCarthy. He wants me to start him. JJ McCarthy, you know what? I'm going against Jerry. I'm going against Jerry. JJ McCarthy's on the bench. This is the team we're rolling into the Super Bowl with. Zeke, Philon, Lamb, Woods. They're gonna carry the offense. Addison, Diggs, Hart. We're benching Micah Parsons. Let's take a look at the 10, 6, and 1 Miami Dolphins right here. Tua Tagovailoa. No CTE version. He has made the Super Bowl. Raheem Mostert running back. Tyree Kill. We tried to trade for him. Jerry Jones didn't like him. Jalen Waddle opposite of him. That's one of the most threatening wide receiver groups because I've ever seen in my life. If I played Micah Parsons, he's surely gonna be too slow. Austin Jackson at O-line. They got Yusuf Omenehu, D Barnes, and Juan Francis. An all-computer-generated defense with two rookies. We gotta look to expose that. All right, here we go, man. This is it. Let's get into the year three Super Bowl. Here we go. First quarter, 21 points. That's what I'm talking about. Coaching decisions here. Second quarter, 28 to 12. All right, we got a two possession lead. Two possession lead here for the Cowboys. We receive the ball. Please run the ball. It's a fumble, Zeke. What is Zeke doing? No, no, no. Touchdown Dolphins. They go for two and they get it. It's a one possession game. Oh my God. They're going to make us sweat it out. Zeke, come on, brother. We got to hang on to the football. We got to hang on to the football. We're in the red zone. Hand it off to Zeke. Fourth quarter, we're up by 15. We can't choke this lead. Hart missed a tackle. That's Tyree Kill. We go for two and they score. All right, we're up by seven. Oh God, they're making us sweat it out. Here we go. Hand it off to Zeke. Keep feeding Zeke. He's had a generational playoff run here in year three. Come on, hand it off to him again. Touchdown, Zeke. Without Micah Parsons, can we win this game without Micah? Come on, they go for the pass. Interception. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. Surely it's over. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no one side. No one side. Cowboys recover. Here it is. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys have won the Super Bowl in year three. <laughs> oh my God, we did it. Benching our quarterback, rolling with the backup QB, and benching Micah Parsons in the Super Bowl after his performances. Ezekiel Elliott, Super Bowl MVP. He had the best playoff run out of any player I've ever seen. He literally put the team on his back, man. Feed Zeke, baby, feed Zeke. Oh, let's take a look at some stats here, man. Ezekiel Elliott, 225 yards, five touchdowns in the Super Bowl, man. Oh my God, CeeDee Lamb with a touchdown as well. And Zeke carried Paul Hart, 11 tackles, 10 out of 10 rating. What a draft pick by Jerry Jones. Shout out Jerry. Jerry finally gets to lift the Lombardi once again. Oh my God. There you go. The Cowboys have won the Super Bowl. Kentner, Joseph, and Benson, the two coordinators that I hired, they finally made a difference in year three. FA's eye brings it home, all right? Everybody was incredible. JJ McCarthy won MVP. They gave it to him even though we won the Super Bowl without him. All right, that's an interesting pick. Robert Woods, Offensive Player of the Year. Tell me that isn't genius. I tell you guys, bringing in that second receiver to help out CeeDee Lamb, that makes an impact pack on the sim, man. I'm telling you guys. Robert Woods, we found the perfect piece. That veteran that was gonna take us over the hump. Thank you, Robert Woods. Trayvon Diggs, defensive player of the year. Thank God they didn't give it to Micah Parsons. God damn. His ass was a bum, bro. There you guys go. Completed the rebuild. Pretty much what the Cowboys need to do is get rid of Dak Prescott. That's what they need to do. And they probably won't be able to afford Micah Parsons because they just signed CeeDee Lamb and Dak Prescott to like record-breaking contracts. They need to get rid of both of them. That's all you need to do to win a Super Bowl with the Cowboys. It's that easy. Hire me, Jerry. Hire me.